Hey guys, welcome to my bathroom. Today I get to share with you some really great hair extensions from Irresistible Me. Um, you might be wondering why I would want hair extensions because I really actually have fairly long hair. But after four kids, um, my hair has gotten a lot thinner and it just seems to keep falling out more and more. So I really wanted them for some volume and just a little bit of length because my hair doesn't seem to want to grow past this length right here. So a little bit of length, mostly the volume, and that's why I was really excited to review these hair extensions. So let's open the box and see what we have. Um, before we, um, before I pull these out, I wanted to go through kind of the process of choosing your hair extensions if you decide to on their website on irresistibleme.com. You will pick your color. They have several different colors to choose from. There's a video that shows you the colors. I highly recommend watching the video because it's easier to see the different colors between each one. So um, I eventually went with the Honey Blonde. You can see that I have different, like two different colors in my hair. So I have my natural color down here, which is kind of a darker like a lighter brown. And then up here I have the bleach and you can see my roots, I need to get them touched up. But it's bleach blonde. So two different colors. It was it was kind of difficult to decide what color of hair extensions to get, but ultimately I went with the honey blonde and it matches perfectly. I can't believe how well it matches. And I've been able to work them into my hair even though I have the brown. So uh, originally I thought maybe I would need to color a few pieces to the brown, which I still can do because these take color. Um, best to darken it instead of um, like bleaching it or lightening it, but they do take color, so that's great. But I don't think I'll ever need to color it as long as I keep my hair like this. Anyways, so in the box, there's some really great things called hair pieces. And these are clip-in extensions super easy to use. I was surprised at how easy they were the first time I put them in. So this is your, my thickest piece. And by the way, I got the 24 inches in length here. So you can see the clips right here. There's four clips. Um, the thickness is amazing in this piece. It's super soft. You can brush it. It's, it's perfect, really. So this is my thickest piece with four clips. And then I have two three-piece clips. This one's a little bit thicker than this one. And then I also have two one-piece clips. This one is um, thinner than this one. And I have five two clip pieces right here. So, lots and lots of hair, which means I have lots of options to um, make my hair thicker, make it longer, just so many options because these will all go in different places in my hair. Um, so, I wanted to show you the process of putting them in, and I'm going to start with these two pieces that I curled. Since my hair is curled right now, I'm going to show you what it looks, um, what it looks like with a few pieces of curled hair. In. So I'm going to use those two clips and then this thick, this nice thick um, four clip piece. So the first thing I do, and I've honestly only done this like I don't know four times. So. Let's do this. So what I do, and you'll just have to play around with your hair really, um, I kind of split my hair in the brown. So I still have a little bit of brown up here, but most of my brown's down here. And I pin it up with a clip. And then I just take my piece of hair, open up the clips like this, and I just work these clips into my hair and it doesn't really feel like I'm getting it into my hair but once I clip it they stay so there's two and I bring this 
edge clip around and the other side right here and there it is so that's it I'm gonna show it to you it looks interesting right now so you can see this it's not covering my brown of course I wouldn't wear my hair up like this so put my hair down and then I'm going to split it right about here at my temples and put it up in a clip. And I'm going to take my two clip pieces and I'm going to clip it in. I don't like to bring it too far forward just because I'm afraid like if I tuck my hair behind my ears or something then it will show so I do it a little bit further back you could do whatever works for you but I have that one in and then this one okay so these are in Drop my hair down and so you can see that the color this blonde color matches my blonde perfectly I don't know if I just got lucky or what but um it's amazing I was so excited so these honestly these are a little bit long for my taste and you can cut these I just haven't yet because I'll tell you why, but let me stand up and show you. So, and maybe it, maybe it looks different to me because I'm not used to seeing my hair so long, but you can see it looks pretty well blended. You can see my brown under here, but you just blend it in. So I have super long hair. I call it mermaid hair. It's really cute. So. That's what it looks like in the front. Here's the back. It's awesome. And you know these, you can tell that they're in. I mean, it's a little bit heavier, but it doesn't hurt. I've worn them for hours before and it didn't bother me. Taking them out is super easy. So, um, so this is three pieces of hair. Gives me a ton of thickness, a ton of hair. But my favorite way so far to style this is to put it in a braid and I have been in love with those side braids that people are doing for so long but my hair just never really looked great in them because it was so thin you know and so now when I put my hair in a braid it has this amazing thickness it's super long super beautiful I love it and even with my brown it looks really cool like just mixed in there and you can make this messy, you can make it clean, you can pull some pieces out and pin them in, you know, just whatever you wanna do. But look at this, it's amazing, I love it. So this, I think, is the way I would wear my hair extensions most of the time. But if I wanted, I could take out this really thick piece of hair and grab this one, it's a little bit thinner, and I would probably cut a few inches off, or maybe, yeah, maybe like two inches, and just piece it into my hair, and it would just give my my current look without the extensions, just make it thicker. And so, I've only had these for about a week and a half to two weeks, so I haven't done all the experimenting that I'm gonna do, but I just wanted to share with you um, show you guys how amazing they are, how easy they are, and I think you guys should go check out irresistibleme.com and see what they can do for you because if you've ever wanted just long hair or sometimes want long hair or even if you don't want long hair, they have different lengths that you can get. So if you need thickness, whatever, they have something for you. So check it out.